Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're out here on a little bit of a windy uh, day in November, and we have the uh, 3DR Solo here. So I've got, um, I don't know how many satellites. Let me see if there's screen recording. Say I'm ready to fly. Oh, I got 10 satellites. Uh, is trying to see so I've got the map kind of interesting positioning on the map so anyways what I'm going to do is I've got the dual cameras going on it <clears throat> for some reason the uh, front camera is not feeding through the HDMI it says it's in HDMI mode now I've got the 360 camera on it below too so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to do some experimental flying so I'm going to go ahead and uh, fire it up and uh, take it up a little bit. And I'm just going to take it up a little bit so you guys can uh, see the camera configuration on it. And I'm just going to let it kind of hold uh, steady for a little bit. So uh, you can see the 360 camera pointing down and then I've got another action camera pointing forward. But although it says it's in HDMI mode, it's really not uh, doing anything. So um, it's a little bit of a problem because I wanted to have that set up. But, uh, but anyways, we're going to just try flying with the map a little bit here. Again, it's pretty windy out. You can see how it's, it's leaning. I just want to make sure. I thought I heard a plane or something. It's kind of windy and with the waves, it's kind of hard to hear. But, uh, just checking that everything out. So let's go ahead and, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, take off my reading glasses and try taking it up a little bit. Because this, this, this bird is the one I want to use for, for winter flight. Yeah, because I got uh, about 200 bucks in it. And uh, mostly the winter flying is going to be line of sight. And so, uh, uh, my map is moving pretty good. Uh, maybe I need to pinch in so I can see it. I'm not sure it's pointing in the correct orientation, but uh, what the heck. I want to take it up a little bit more. I don't quite trust it. Not yet, anyway. Now it's bringing it back towards me. I want to take it out a little bit further. I got to tell you, it's handling the wind pretty good, but it's a pretty good sized bird. And especially with both of those uh, cameras on there, I want to get a little bit more altitude. And stick around. Boy, I tell you, this is a smooth flying bird. And I got it out there. And let's see if I turn it, if it changes my arrow. No. No, not changing my arrow, so, but at least it's directionally going, the arrow seems to be directionally going the right way. So I'm out there a bit. And I want to try bring it back around to me. There seems to be a lot of lag in the arrow. Now it seems to be coming back to me. I got a seagull buzzing me. There's a lot of lag in the arrow. But I got a full stick too, so it's not, it's not moving too fast. 
I saw somebody on the internet had one of these with a tailwind going something like 70 miles an hour. Holy bejesus, man, that's, uh, that's moving. And, uh, I want to stop it up there. And I'm going to just kind of take it up the beach. Because I should have at least a 360 camera going. And we're just taking it up the beach. And I'm taking it up. I noticed something flashed on it, or it looked like it flashed. Maybe it was sun reflecting off something. Yeah, we're just bringing it back down. I'm kind of interested how all these jetties and the beach look in the, uh, in the 360 camera. Again, real good battery life. Just taking it down. Super solid platform. I tell you, you know, 3DR sort of had it. They made a few mistakes. Number one, locking into the GoPro platform. And number two, the price without the sensors. Because this is basically a Phantom 4 without all the sensors. And uh, I was just flying it around, just sort of line of sight. Hopefully the wind's not too bad on you guys. Not much I can do about that, sorry. I'll clip out what I can. I wonder if that's the sun glinting off that uh, 360 degree camera lens. It's a big lens. I'm kind of interested in what the video is going to look like with the 360 camera pointing totally down rather than to the front. Now we're just kind of orbiting. Again, super solid flying bird. You know, I think I might just kind of give up on the uh, video piece for right now, or at least the transmitted video, and just, you know, use it to fly 360 cameras and stuff. Because I'm really only flying a general line of sight anyway, and the map seems to be somewhat accurate, or at least give me some positional data. Flight time seems to be really good. So it's up above me. I need to put my glasses back on, sorry for bumping you. I gotta adjust you guys, sorry. So I'm at, still at 41%. I mean, that is just like super duper, so percentage wise. You know, and I've been flying for a bit here, so uh, again, pretty happy with that. And so I got it up there. And uh, let's bring it down a little bit and mess around with it a little bit. You know, it's kind of like the spark. It does, it moves rather slow, but it moves methodically. You know, without a lot of jerking. I want to try something. I'll let you guys see what I'm trying. I want to move over that fence. See this fence here? I want to back it up. And uh, yeah, I still got power to do this. 
Yeah, I want to move it over. Yeah, I want to get myself lined up so I can line up the shot. I got that 360 degree camera on there. Well, let's bring it back a little bit more. You can see the wind's got it a little bit whipped out. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this guy forward. And didn't come off too straight. So let's try, let's try it one more time. I think I got enough battery. Don't want to run it into me. Okay, let's. Boy, this is nice flying. Uh, let's yaw it a little bit. Let's get it lined up again. Okay, let's go. There, that's better. A little bit better. I think it came off at the end. Look at that thing just spin around. I, I don't know if you can see it in the hat cam. But wow. This thing is a lot of fun to fly. This is, this is just like a big spark without the DJI overlords looking over your shoulder. I'll tell you what, Drone Worship, thank you on this one. I don't know if I'm gonna thank you on the Ghost, but uh, I'll tell you what, Dr Drone Worship gets a big thumbs up for me on talking me into buying this. It's complaining about the battery being low. I like the uh, feedback in the handset, so let's go ahead and uh, let's bring this down. And look at, look, look at, I mean, I got probably 10 mile an hour wind gusts. Look how solid this thing is. You guys got to see this. Look how solid. You know, it's fallen into a little bit of its own prop wash here, but I'm just going to set it down in the sand. So I tell you what, this gets a big thumbs up from me. This thing is phenomenal, guys. So uh, if I could figure out that front camera. Now, one of the things... I've just flown this now with two cameras with a ton of weight on it. I got super battery life on it. So again, big thumbs up on this guy. And uh, hey, let me know what you guys are thinking about for lunch. We got the subscribe button over there. I know you guys haven't hit it. You landed here because you found this place. Click that button. Also click the notify button. I put out regular content. Cheers. See you in the next video.